Hi guys, <clears throat> Carrie from down in Texas. How are you on this Monday that is another rainy day in Houston? I'm telling you, we're gonna float away. That or we're gonna get carried away by the mosquitoes that we're gonna have in about three weeks because they're gonna be so bad. I hate to even think how bad it's gonna be, but that's not what we're talking about tonight. I had a request today from one of my followers to talk about my iced coffee. I drink iced coffee every day when I'm doing my get ready videos. And so she, um, this particular lady asked me if I would show you what I do every day with, well, it's not every day because I don't make it every day. I make enough generally for anywhere from two to three days, depending on how much I drink. And I, I generally drink like two of these before lunch. Um, and I try to stop drinking my coffee at right at lunchtime and I switch to peach tea. I can't drink sodas anymore um, due to my weight loss recovery. That's uh, a, no, a never again um, consumption, which is fine. I did not realize just how bad diet sodas for you are until I went through the educational process of weight loss surgery. And I'm not ashamed to say I had weight loss surgery. Uh, many people, I guess, are, have a stigma about it and think that it's um, an easy way out. And let me tell you something, having weight loss surgery is not an easy way out. You live with it for the rest of your life. You live with learning to eat food again. I am two and a half years out and I am still not consuming more than maybe two, two, three ounces at a sitting, if I am lucky. And there's some things I just cannot even eat. Breads are one of them. Meats are another thing. Just about everything that I, that I can eat more than two ounces of has to be a soft food. Soups, stews, those type of things. Um, it's just not, it's not an easy thing. It's not an, it's not a way out. Um, you live with it for the rest of your life. You're on supplements the rest of your life. There's things you'll never, ever, ever eat again. There's things you'll never be able to drink again. So for all of those people out there that continually put nasty, unsupportive, unhelpful, negative, and hurtful comments on social media pages saying that it is a easy way out, you're just cowards, that's all I can tell you you are, because you sit behind the camera and you make disparaging comments about somebody that you more than likely have no clue who they are or what their story is or why they've had weight loss sur surgery, because let me tell you, there's a lot of people, including myself, that had weight loss surgery for medical reasons, medical conditions. There are a lot of people like that. And, and, and eating, when you eat to extremes or you don't eat enough, both of those things are eating disorders. So for all you cowards behind your camera who have to constantly make disparaging comments to those people who are overweight, who don't look like everybody else, that's what you are. You're trolls and cowards because you hide behind your little camera instead of having enough guts to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with anybody. But we're here to talk about coffee tonight. Um, so coffee, iced coffee. Hot coffee for me uh, post my weight loss surgery is still difficult. I'm not exactly sure why. I've always been a, a coffee person. I love coffee in any shape or form. Coffee desserts, coffee drinks, coffee, coffee, coffee. I have always been that way. But the consumption of hot coffee has been a challenge. I would say in the two and a half years I'm post my surgery, I may have had three cups of hot coffee. Uh, and I'm sure it's just an anatomical, um, in, an, an, I don't know the right word for that. I'm sure it's because the my insides have been moved around and my anatomy is different. And I'm sure that's part of the reason. Uh, but I now drink iced coffee. And my mainstay for my coffee, where which I start all my coffee on, is Dunkin' Donuts Original Iced Coffee. I like this because it's got a really smooth flavor. Um, 
I, I generally, so, well, not generally, I always put my iced coffee, my Dunkin' Donuts in this coffee carafe. And when I mix it, I mix three of these into my carafe. And then I add, you can either add milk or you can add half and half. And depending on how full the three bottles make it, sometimes I, you know, have a little bit left in this particular time, I do not. So let's just go ahead and fill it up and I can show you for three of these where this fills up this carafe. And I, I make it ahead of time. So all I have to do is put it over my um, ice in the mornings and I'm ready to go. And I do keep it in a in a, some sort of Yeti type cup because I want to keep it really cold. And so um, so let's see where, see where three of these are going to take us. Yeah. So three of those jars got me to about three quarters of a cup, three quarters of a jar, I'm sorry, for my um, jar. So then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, for me, I use half and half. And the reason I use half and half is also for um, and because of my weight loss. So I take that container of half and half and I then fill up my container the rest of the way. So now I have three to three and a half days, depending on how many I drink per day, for my um, iced coffee. And I just put it in the craft and I just blend it. Now, sometimes, well, back up. The reason I use the reason I use half and half when you have this particular type of weight loss surgery, one of the things that you body um, eliminates is fat, but we all have to have fat, okay? So you've got to be able to consume some sort of fat back in your diet. Your body needs it, your skin needs it, your bones need it. You need some sort of fat back in your diet. And so the way I do that is through a dairy, through dairy products. And in this particular case, it is half and half. Now, if I'm struggling a little bit with an upset stomach, sometimes what I will do is I will go ahead and you know fill up my container and I fill up I fill it up about to here with ice and then I fill it up to about here with my coffee and then sometimes especially if I have a little bit of an upset stomach I will on top of that add a little bit of either a whipped cream um you know with a throffer or I might sometimes I've even added a little bit of a flavor to it but generally speaking I just like plain um regular coffee flavor. I don't generally add a lot of flavors to it. I think I think in two and a half years, I may have done that a couple of times at the holidays just to try one of the holiday flavors to see if I liked it. And and I really am not 100% sure I like it. I, I think I just would prefer the regular unflavored coffee. And so that is how I make my iced coffee. And so it does two things for me. It helps me put fat back in my diet and it does help me get calories in because at this stage for me, my struggle is not getting enough calories. So I plateau my weight loss because at this point my weight loss is over 130 pounds and I really don't want to continue to lose any more of that. Um, I'm five foot eight and so I just don't want to become gaunt or skeletal looking as my son says I look. <laughs> Bless his little heart. But anyway, so that's how I make my um, iced coffee. Very simple. I put it in the refrigerator. I don't have to worry about it going off because I'm drinking, you know, two of these a day um, for sure. Uh, I start my day normally about 6.30 or 7 and um, at lunchtime I switch to iced tea. So that's my iced coffee routine. I do like it very much. Let me just read to you um, the back of one of these bottles so you kind of have an idea. So uh, 250 calories are in these bottles. Um, of course, carbohydrates are a big part of it because they put, um, you know, a creamer type 
substance in this. I'm sure it doesn't say what that is or I can't read it. It does have seven grams of protein, which is really good. Um, 250 calories per bottle. So for this jar, I am putting 750 calories into it from just the coffee. And then I would probably say by the time you calculate the half and half, it's probably got about a thousand calories and it's two and a half to three days. So that's not very many calories when you talk about it in those numbers. When the average person, the average female anyways, for me should be anywhere from um, 14 to 1800 calories, depending on what you're trying to do for your for your intake and your weight management. So it works for me and it gives me some very needed fat back, especially in certain areas of my body, one of them being actually my face. I lost a tremendous amount of weight in my face and it changed drastically changed my skin and the elasticity of my skin. So for me, it's very, very important to get that fat consumption back into my diet as well as for my hair. So that's it. I hope um, I've answered all your questions. If I haven't, please don't ever hesitate to shoot me out a message and I will answer it directly for you. And as always, I do wanna hear from you. So if there's other things that you would like me to talk about or film, by all means, please send me a note. I had a very, very nice request from another one of my viewers last week and I've done two or three videos for her and that is a, a great joy for me because I'm interacting with you and I'm answering questions and doing things that you guys are asking me to do and that's what this channel is all about. We're here to help each other, positively support each other in every way we can and negativity is not welcome at this channel. It won't be allowed, it will be deleted because there is enough negativity in the world today without having it invade a nice form of communication and community. And there's just no place for it. God bless, I hope you have a wonderful uh, Monday evening. If you're in Houston, I hope you're not getting flooded out again. Um, I don't know what our forecast is tomorrow, but I certainly hope the rain is over so we all just don't wash away. And it's probably a good time if you are in Houston to invest in some citronella candles. Put them everywhere. You're gonna need them. In about three weeks, the in mosquito infestation is going to be out of control. So spray and citronella should be on your shopping list for sure. This is Carrie from down in Texas. God bless, have a wonderful evening and please, Think about joining our community. Hit the bell so you know the next time I post a video and you are appreciated. Don't forget that. Have a great night, everyone. Bye-bye.